Welcome back to The Culture Coop. My name is Morgan. If you haven't been here before, I make videos all about homemaking, homesteading, and all things cozy living. Today I'm going to be decorating for fall, and I don't care if it's only mid-August, I'm still doing it. So if you would like to follow along with me and clean up the house, decorate for fall, get a couple small projects done for back to school season, then stay tuned. I feel like it wouldn't be a fall themed video without a crock pot dinner in the background. So I have some chili in the crock pot. And the first thing I am doing is going down in the basement and finding all of my fall decor. Um, I am trying my best to, I don't know, de-influence a little bit. Um, I guess that's the term that people are using now, but trying to show the uglier side of life, not just the Instagrammable side. So this is my basement. This is where I store all my crap. It is not organized yet. Um, it's not pretty. It's, you know, it's a basement. So it's a regular basement in a regular house with my regular regular decorations. I spent $12, 12, okay, no, $15 this year on new decorations for fall. That is it. I was not spending a dime more because I have decorations and I do not need to change them every year and neither do you. So I'm just gonna find everything in my basement and shop around my house and see what I can do. So like I said, I have been trying to shop around my house and not purchase all new decorations every season um, like I have in the past. So I have this cabinet that's just full of junk since we moved. Um, it's just been a catch-all, but it has some random decorations in it that I'm just kind of pulling out, seeing, debating what I think looks good for fall. So I've been just kind of grabbing some stuff. I ended up not using every single thing I brought out, but it's whatever. Um... I have some, I have less surface space in this house because like I don't have my piano anymore and I don't have a TV table yet to decorate. So I just have a little less to decorate um, right now, but you know, it works. So the first thing I do is lay everything out on the table because I just like getting a visual of everything I have. Some things I know exactly where I want to place them, but then other things I'm just not sure yet. And I like to see what I have and place it around the house and um I don't know I just like putting it all in one spot I do this every season for every like seasonal decor day I do I always put it all on the table and figure it out from there so now that I have everything laid out I kind of have a better idea of what I want to do with everything and I can see you know what I got to work with and I just wanted to share what I purchased I got these three dollar salt and pepper shakers they're ceramic and um, those wooden bowls from the Dollar General and it was $12 or $15 for everything. And I also wanted to share, this is wax melts from my friend Emily. She owns a company called Magic's Happening and I will link them in the description box. She makes like nerdy um, candles and wax warmers and I, it's so cute. She has like all different like... I don't know, Star Wars and like fandom things that are really cute. I had a couple from uh, Gilmore Girls and a couple movies I've never watched and it's just really cute. So I just wanted to plug her business in this video and I will link her down below. The next thing I'm doing is pulling out all of the couch covers or the like pillow covers. These actually look like fall colors to me. They're all browns and rusty colors. I've been really into like rust and brown. So although these are my everyday pillow covers, I am just going to wash those and put them back on for fall. I don't have any like pumpkin pillows or anything like that. Um, so these pillows just stay out year round. I'll probably change them for Christmas. I think I have Christmas pillows, but for now I'm going to leave them right how they are. But I am going to wash them because I try to do it seasonally. Um, I do it more often than seasonally, but when I decorate, I like to wash pillowcases. So I am just vacuuming the couch, getting everything as clean as I possibly can before I put out more decorations. So when I do any seasonal decorating, I clean up in between the, like in this case, spring and fall decorations or summer and fall. Um, I take everything off, I scrub everything down, I dust, I put away what season needs to be like put away, um, and then I put down the basics, like you'll see me in a second here, I'm going to put down my normal, like, I don't know, basket that sits here every day, every season, I'll put that down, I put the coasters down, there's like a little deer antler that stays there year round, 
the remote, like the the stuff, the everyday stuff that doesn't change seasonally. I put that back first, and then I will go back to the table and figure out what I think would look good in the middle there. So that's kind of how I do it. I take everything off of whatever surface. I clean everything. I put back the essentials and then I fill it in with the new seasonal decor. So um, that's just my process. I don't know. But then I'm just hanging up some wall signs. Um, I try to go through my decor and pick the lightest of the things I have, like the things with white backgrounds and light color backgrounds, because this house, as you can see, is completely wood. It is a log cabin. There's no drywall. It is all brown walls. I tried my best to find things that are light and bright in my collection, because some of the things I have would just look goofy, because in our old house, I used to have like a lot of white walls, and I would have dark decor on the white walls. Well, it's opposite here. So I have dark walls and I'm trying my best to find and pick out all of the light colored decor I have. So I don't know. That seems like a basic thought to me, but I just wanted to mention that. I get a lot of questions on this really big ceramic vase I have. It is from Target at least a year ago, maybe two years ago. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection by Magnolia. She has another tall skinny one that I might go buy to be honest with you. Um, I don't know where I would put it, but I really love this one and I would love to have the matching one, <laughs> but that's where it's from. I absolutely love it. Um, so again, I'm just taking everything off, cleaning as best I can. I should have washed this mirror, but I did not. So now that I'm watching this video back editing it, I'm like, I have to go wash that mirror. So I will wash that mirror, I promise. And I'm just putting everything back. Um, I found this little riser at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was so inexpensive. I got it for less than $10. So that was pretty cool. I didn't buy that for fall. I bought that for my soap shop, actually, for like photos, take photos of my soap. But I'm just kind of dusting everything, washing everything off. This part of the video, I had to speed through and delete a bunch of it because I messed with these fake leaves for like, I think it was seven minutes and I was getting so frustrated. They were not sitting how I wanted, but I ended up just cutting the video and it, it looked good at the end. So another project I had to do was to hang some hooks. Do you like my measuring I just did with my hands there? Um, I wanted to hang some hooks to make the kids' backpacks more accessible. They can't reach the hooks behind me there to hang their backpacks. Um, and it makes it really bulky behind the door. So I just want to put some hooks lower for them to, to do it themselves and to make it a little more streamlined back there to get ready for back to school. Three years ago, you would have never caught me dead hanging these brightly colored backpacks out in the open for people to see. But I am trying to kind of de-influence myself and recognize that nothing always has to look like your life doesn't always have to look like an Instagram post or whatever. This is functional. It works. And it's exactly what we need right now. So that's okay. So in our old house, we had two very small bathrooms with not a lot of counter space, not really much room to decorate. So decorating the bathroom for fall was kind of new to me, which sounds kind of goofy, but like our bedroom and our bathroom and our bedroom in our last house wasn't even really finished. So like I never decorated in there. It was just kind of a room that I just ignored, to be honest with you. But it was kind of nice um, decorating in here and like knowing that our guests will actually have like a cute fall bathroom it was kind of fun like it sounds dumb but I was really I was excited to decorate in here um, again with the de-influencing de um, our bathroom is a totally regular bathroom we have an eight 1980s sink and vanity and an ugly flat mirror that like I feel like every 80s bathroom has the the fixtures are all old. It is everything is functional, but it's just old. It is not the newest thing ever. And, you know, it works for our family. It works for the season of life that we're in. And you can still make your house look super comfy, cozy for fall without spending a ton of money, without having the newest and nicest of everything. And I just wanted to remind everybody of that. Um, Everybody asked me, that little squirrel, I think is from Walmart from like six years ago. I have a squirrel and a chipmunk. Um, I don't know where the chipmunk is, but I think they're from Walmart. But I ended up not liking my makeup sitting out here. It was just felt really cluttery to me. So I'm just, you can see me, I'm kind of like cleaning up this upper cabinet and making some room for my makeup and shoving that out of the way. But 
you know, I'm just making do with what I have and I still think it came out really comfy, really cozy and nice. I didn't want to put anything too breakable here because this is the bathroom that's on the main level of the house. Most people use it. The kids use it the most and you know, it doesn't matter what I put out here. If I put a fake pumpkin or a ceramic pumpkin, like they're going to touch it. So I put the fake pumpkins, like the soft ones out. So, you know, they don't break anything. I really need to do a deep, deep clean in the kitchen, but I honestly just don't want to. I did a pretty good clean when we moved in about two months ago, but I just, I, I don't have it in me. I didn't have it in me this day. So I'm just doing like a surface clean, you know, just good enough. I'm not cleaning the inside of the oven or anything, but it's clean enough to hang some decor. So, you know, normal houses are lived in and normal houses have some fingerprints and we'll survive. It's okay. It's good enough. It's clean enough to eat a meal. So it's a clean enough kitchen, right? I ended up changing this part a few different times. Um, I, those are the salt and pepper shakers that I got from Dollar General that I decided didn't need to be salt and pepper shakers. And I like them way more as little like decorative pumpkins. Um, and I put the, cause they're ceramic. I put them up somewhere where the kids don't touch as often. They're, you know, they're six and four. So they break things a lot less now, but you know, it still happens. So I try to put the, the glass and the ceramic a little further away from where their little hands go. So I put that there and then I backed up and I ended up not liking it. Like, I don't know. It just didn't look right to me. It didn't set right with me. I couldn't get it. It kept looking like an old lady in a necklace to me. So I kept having to change it. Um, but as you can see here, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm trying to not buy as much decor. I'm trying to keep it where if you take the pumpkins out and just change the fall foliage in the vase, that could be year round. So I'm trying to do that and use all of the decor I have and have less seasonal decor and just things that can sit out in my house all year round with like a small box of accents that will be like, oh, there's some fall decor. Oh, there's some Christmas decor. But not having as much, just, I just don't need as much stuff. Maybe I'm in my minimalist error. I don't know. This window in my kitchen over the sink, I absolutely love, but I was kind of having a hard time decorating it. I think by the end of this video, I've changed it a couple times because as I'm looking at it right now, it does not look like it does in the video. But I always have a hard time bordering the line of like too much stuff up here and not enough. So I don't know. This felt like not enough to me. So I added some more stuff and I'll show you later on in the video. Like I do like a little pan around of everything as it sits decorated. But I absolutely love this window and I love the light it brings. And if I could keep plants alive, I would grow some plants here. But I am just I have a black thumb and I don't think I'll ever change. So here's another spot where I really want to add light and bright colors as best I can. There's just so much brown in this house and my wood table does not make that any better. So I found the lightest color runner that I had. Um, I'd like to get a white tablecloth, but I just haven't yet, but that works for now. I wanted so badly to hang this sign up like this and maybe I can still figure it out, but I couldn't get anything to stick to the tile backsplash. I tried command hook and I just wasn't trusting it enough. I felt like it was going to fall and crack the flat, um, electric cooktop. And I tried E6000 glue and I tried to glue it and it still wasn't holding. So like, I don't know how to hang it there, but I wanted to, but I couldn't figure it out. So I added a few remaining pumpkins, moved a little bit of stuff around and the house was decorated. Like I said, I really didn't spend really any money. I had almost all of this and truly I didn't even need the decor I, I got. I just really wanted it, but um, really easy home decor video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful start to your fall season. This is my absolute favorite season. I was fully decorated by fall by, I think, October, or August 15th, I think, August 10th, something like that is when I did this video. And I was just, I'm just so ready for fall. I love the cool weather. I love going back to school season. I just, I've always loved fall. 
and I love making this video for you guys. So if you enjoyed it, I would love it if you hit a the thumbs up button. And if you hit that red subscribe button, it helps me out a ton and it doesn't cost you a thing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.